This video is intended to show how relative paths work in our studio. On my desktop, I have a top folder, middle folder, top.csv, middle.csv in the middle folder, and bottom folder, and bottom.csv. So this is my directory structure that we're going to be working with. So I, when I start up our studio, I will typically get uh, a working directory, that is my home directory, and I'll also start in RStudio in the file pane here. And what I'd like to do is set my working directory to be the desktop. So I'm going to browse in the file pane to my desktop. Actually, I'd like to go further into the top folder, and I will set that as my working directory. Now I'd like to stress that what you see in the file pane is not necessarily your working directory. So for example, if I go back in the file pane and I look at my working directory, my working directory is still the top folder. But I sometimes try to keep those synchronized because it makes it easier to work. Now when you're in your working directory, you can access any file directly without worrying about the path. So for example, if I'd like to read in the file top.csv, then I can just do that directly. And when I specify the file in quotes, there's nothing indicating where it lies on the computer because the working directory is that file or is that directory and the file is in the working directory I don't have to specify anything about the path. And I can get my top variable. Now if I'd like to read the middle CSV file, I have to think about where that file exists relative to my working directory. I know that it's in a subfolder middle, and then it's the file middle.csv. So just by using this path, which is called a relative path, which is relative to where we are in the top folder, I can read in the middle file. And I can do the same with the bottom CSV. Middle is my first subfolder, and bottom, and then bottom.csv. So these three commands work this way because that is the relative path compared to my working directory. Now, if I change my working directory, so for example, let's say that I go, I set my working directory back to the desktop. And just for good measure, I'll also set my file pane there as well. Let's make sure it did actually change. Now, if I try to those three commands again, they should fail. And they fail because the three paths are no longer accurate, no longer um, accurate relative to the working directory. But if I want to fix them, I can simply add in the word top with a, a forward slash to specify where those files are relative to the current working directory. So I just have to add the word top to each of them because I backed up one directory. You can even set your working directory, well really you can set your working directory anywhere. Let me set the working directory to somewhere kind of deep in the, in the file folders. I'll go into top and then middle and then bottom. And here, once, once I'm here, I can just read in directly the bottom, bottom file because it is in my working directory now. Oops, looks like I made a mistake. Let's double check. Oh, I never actually set the working directory. Now let's try that again. Now it will work because I set the working directory. If I want to read the middle file, I have to use a special relative path indicator which is basically go up one directory. It's the double dot. 
and then I can read it. A double dot means go back one directory or up one directory. And I can put several of those together to read the top file. So relative paths are nice because they allow you to shorten or to to make sometimes more compact your your paths to your various files. But using relative paths you can access any file. You just have to remember what is the path relative to your current working directory. 